New Year, everyone dives in to make their New Year resolutions. But you really need to know what kind of nutritional shape you're in if your goal is to eat healthy in 2015. Try our healthy eating quiz. Just Google that, it comes up number one. It takes five minutes and it'll give you some feedback on how your current eating habits align with the Australian Dietary Guidelines. It also gives you some advice on the steps you can take to eat more healthily in 2015. Some of the other things you might want to do as part of your New Year Get Healthy is take a look at your pantry. Are there some things lurking in there that really maybe shouldn't be in there? Drag the bin over and get rid of them, clean slate, and then write a shopping list of all the healthy foods that you want to feature in your pantry. It's not a surprise when you think about it, but what mum and dad eats directly relates to what their children eat. So if you normally buy some little snacks or treats just for you to hide in the back of the pantry, well, you probably already know that your kids end up eating the same food. If you really want to help your children to grow healthy and develop well, then that means it's up to what you eat yourself. Sad but true. So in 2015, putting a bigger emphasis on your own eating habits means you're going to get a flow on effect for everyone who lives at your place. This year we've done some important research on healthy eating in pregnancy. We've shown that what you eat as a mum does affect your baby's body composition, like in terms of how much body fat and how much muscle mass the baby has. So we know that it's a time to focus on the healthy basics. Lots of vegetables and fruit give all the folate it needs to grow a healthy baby. The whole grains actually mean you get enough fibre and helps counter some of the complications in pregnancy related to things like constipation. Having lean proteins, so that's lean red meat, fish, chicken, and the vegetarian alternatives like beans and lentils means you'll optimise your iron intake and that's important for your health as well as the baby's development.